In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a Pearson's R correlation coefficient in SPSS. Now, for this particular test, both of our variables should be continuous, and continuous variables should be labeled as scale in SPSS. So examples of this would be my competency scores, because you can see here this is numbers, it's continuous, it's not coded or grouped. Um, also, income and age would be acceptable because they are continuous scale variables. Now, there is one exception to the rule, and that is if you want to use a categorical variable with only two categories, such as gender. And this is called a dichotomous variable because I only have two groups, male and female. And it is permissible to use a continuous variable and a dichotomous variable for a Pearson's R. But consider if you have the situation uh, whether or not a t-test would be more appropriate. For our example, we're going to use two continuous variables. So I'm going to use total competency and I'm going to correlate that with age to see if there's a relationship between age and how competent someone is before they start their job. Now, before we run a, a Pearson's R test, there's a couple things we have to check. So if we go here to my output file, the first thing is we need to check for normality, and that's because a Pearson's R test is called a parametric test. So we're assuming the data has this particular distribution. And we can see, roughly speaking, it's approximately normal. Not perfect, but no variable will be, but it's close enough. If you want to um, check further, so if you can't really tell from your histogram, you could always run a normality test instead. Now, if I come up here to age, again, not perfect, but close enough, it would be fair to use the mean standard deviation to represent this data. So I'm going to go ahead and say that it's normally distributed or close enough. The last thing we need to check is linearity. Now, Pearson's R test is looking at the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. So it's essential that when we make our scatter plot, it has a linear relationship. That means straight line relationship. There's no curves. It doesn't curve down. It doesn't curve up. It doesn't look exponential. And this is, roughly speaking, a linear relationship. So we're good to do our test. So let's go ahead. From the analyze menu and you can do this from the output or the data file if we go down to correlate and choose bivariate we're going to put in our two variables age and competency and make sure that pearson's r is ticked we have two other options here we'll be looking at this spearman's in a different video you also have the option to choose a two-tailed or one-tailed test and this will be determined based on your alternate hypotheses. So if you don't know in advance what the relationship will be, you just think there will be a relationship, you choose two-tailed. However, if before you run the test or before you collect the data, you think there should be a positive or a negative relationship, then you need to choose a one-tailed test. Before I collected the data, I didn't know what to expect um, from this relationship, so I'm gonna choose two-tailed. You also have the option to allow SPSS to show you correlations that are significant. So it will put one asterisk if it's significant 0.05, two asterisks if it's significant at 0.01. This does not change your significance level. SPSS is just trying to help you out. Go ahead and click OK. And here are the results of our Pearson's R correlation. Now we're going to have a look at how to interpret these results in the next video.